Hi friends, this is the math lesson for second grade. This is unit four, lesson 13. We are actually going to complete page 191 during our small group. So do not do this page yet, but before you come into small groups, I do want you to watch the Brain Pop video that I have assigned to you. It is about fact families and it should be a review. So watch that Brain Pop, leave this page blank, and when you're ready, we are going to do page 192 in this video. So some of these problems look easy, but I'm telling you, some of them are tricky. They are some of the more complicated word problems, so we are going to do them together today. It says, make a drawing, write an equation, and solve. Now, all of the actual adding and subtraction is pretty simple because it's all 20 or less, okay? But these word problems are actually a little bit confusing. So, question number three, it says, there are seven children at the lunch table. Some more children sit down, then there are 11 children at the table. How many children sit down? So this is a pretty standard word problem. This is one of the word problems that I like to write as I read. So I have seven children at the table, some more sit down. So plus box equals 11 are there now. So I know that I can add something to seven to get 11. I do have to draw some sort of picture. You can draw a math mountain, or you can just use a picture to help you figure out the answer. If I have the number seven, I'm gonna count up, eight, nine, 10, 11, there's my picture. And it also shows me my answer of four. Four children. Remember, if you need to pause the video at any time, feel free. Number four, some leaves are on the ground. The children pick up nine leaves, then there are three on the ground. How many leaves were on the ground at the start? So this is one of those kind of more confusing problems. Let's use our cubes strategy to figure out what we're actually doing. So I see the number nine and three. I know my label is leaves. How many leaves were on the ground at the start is my question. Now I'm gonna box up some clue words. I see some leaves at the beginning. And in my question, it says at the start. So think way, way back into unit one. That was at the beginning of the school year. Seems like a lifetime ago. This is an un known start. So we know that there are some leaves on the ground. We know that the children pick up nine of them. So I'm actually going to subtract nine. And now there are three left. So is this the same as nine minus three equals box? No, it's not. We never, ever, 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 ever solve a problem that looks like this. We always want to take this and turn it into an addition problem because we are missing that total. Do you guys remember this? So I'm gonna write three plus nine equals box. Now I can solve. Don't forget, you do have to draw a picture of some sort. You can draw a math mountain. I like to draw a picture to help me solve it. So I have nine. 10, 11, 12. So there were 12 leaves at the start. All right, now number five and number six. You guys are going to freak out when I tell you these are both comparison bar problems. Do you guys remember those? Oh my gosh. Okay, so why don't we both go ahead and get our comparison bars ready. This is our picture. You have a long rectangle on top, 
a small rectangle on the bottom, and a circle. And remember, it is very, very similar to a math mountain. Total goes on top, partners go on the bottom. I like to draw my little math mountain legs. Okay, so number five, it says, Terry has five more pencils than Adam. Adam has six pencils. How many pencils does Terry have? So I'm going to use my cube strategy to kind of help me figure out. I have five and I have six. Now, how many pencils does Terry have? I'm going to box up my clue words. I have the word more, and that's pretty much it. So remember with comparison bars, you have to figure out which name goes on top and which name goes on bottom. So I need to find out who has more. So it says Terry has five more. That tells me that T goes on top, A goes on bottom. Terry, Adam. Now, if you also remember from a long time ago, the number that goes in the circle either always has more or less after it. So which number has more or less after? The five, right? There's the word more. Now I have the number six. It says Adam has six pencils. So where does that go? It goes in Adam's box. That's exactly how many he has. So my question mark goes in the top in Terry's box. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And that tells me that I'm missing a total. Now I can add six plus five, and I get an answer of 11. Whew, that brings back some memories, huh? Okay, I encourage you to try number six on your own. See if you can fill in those comparison bars. It says Stevie has eight more stickers than Ari. Stevie has 13 stickers. How many stickers does Ari have? So try and fill in those comparison bars. Pause the video. Okay, how'd you guys do? Did you get it? So we have eight and 13. I see the word more right there. I know that I'm trying to figure out how many stickers does Ari have. So first I need to label my comparison bars. It says Stevie has eight more than Ari. So Stevie has more, Ari has less. I see the number eight, that's gonna go in my oval. I see that Stevie has 13, so that's gonna go in Stevie's box. And I'm trying to figure out how many does Ari have. So instead of missing a total, now I'm missing a partner. So I'm going to do my subtraction. 13 minus eight equals a box. And when you solve that, you should have gotten an answer of five stickers. All right, friends, like I said, we're gonna do page 191 in our small groups. Make sure you go on and watch that Brain Pop video. It'll be a great refresher about fact families. All right, friends, I'll see you in a little bit.